Today, I'm playing the Uncharted series to acquire five platinum trophies. I'll be playing Uncharted 1, 2, 3, 4, and the Lost Legacy. This means I'll have to collect a total of 248 trophies to get all the platinums. And I didn't forget about the prequel Uncharted Golden Abyss that's exclusively on the PS Vita. I just don't own a Vita and that game has a separate story so it won't affect the series we will be playing today. So let's get right on into it. The first game in the series is Uncharted Drake's Fortune. The trophy plan will be play on crushing difficulty and collect all treasures, next finish all speedrun trophies, then finally clean up all the combat trophies. So now let's get started. In Uncharted's 1 to 4, we play as Nathan Drake, who is a treasure hunter that recently finds his ancestor's coffin. Nate is joined by Elena Fisher, who is a journalist, and when Nate opens the coffin, he finds a journal inside, which leads to the city of gold known as El Dorado. Nate is picked up later by his friend Sully, who both go looking for El Dorado, and this is where our trophy hunt journey begins. Right at the start of the chapter, I grabbed my first collectible, which got me the first treasure trophy here. At this point, I was early on in the game, so I faced my first big encounter while trying to go for some challenge-related trophies, but I was also getting used to the crushing difficulty, and this was no joke. Oh. They got the beamers on them, bro. There's my AK. Oh, I'm done. Oh, that guy just owned me, dude. No way. No way, dude. Where is this guy? Shoot me. Dude, they spawned up top? So while I was just getting completely owned over and over, it actually helped me get a couple trophies here for farming some kills with these weapons, so check it out. There we go. Oh, I already have 20 headshots, another trophy. He's alive still. He juked me. Oh, and I got a trophy for that. See ya, buddy. Oh, let's go. Headshot expert. Trophy earned. Kill five enemies in a row with headshots. After that, I kept making my way through the story, getting collectible related trophies and miscellaneous combat ones as well. This was my final collectible I grabbed here for the Master Thief collection, which was for grabbing all 61 treasures, which actually isn't too bad in this game because the treasures start increasing in the other Uncharted games, as you'll see later on. But for now, I made it to the final chapter of the game where I have to fight a man named Navarro who took the treasure El Dorado and has captured Elena. If I'm actually able to defeat Navarro's men and take him out, I will be awarded four trophies, but I will will say this was probably the hardest encounter of the game for me, so let's see what happens. Oh. Ooh. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a quick time event, and it, it spawns me right in the middle of everyone. Well, that makes sense. Look at this. I can't move! Hello? I roll out of the way, and I get shot instantly. What is that? I'm getting back here. I don't know. I'm not going over there. Gotta use these uh, crates to my advantage. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's up top. I'm going to chase him. After taking out Navarro's men, I'm now onto the final boss fight, and I end up losing my weapon here, which probably isn't the best scenario while going up against a shotgun, so I have to defeat him in order to get four trophies here. What do I do? I don't have a weapon. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> wait. He, like, took us out mid roll. I've never died like that in this game. Especially to a guy with a laser. What? He wasn't even aiming at me. Go right at him. Nice. Oh, a little combo. Oh, no. Quick, 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 quick. Nice. Oh, we got him. So that is the end of Navarro, and I'm awarded all the difficulty-related trophies, which is easy, normal, hard, and of course the crushing difficulty. And this concludes the story here where we save Elena and we take out Navarro. He goes to the bottom of the ocean with the treasure and that is the end of that. Now that the story is completed, I have to complete all of the speedruns in the game. There's three in total, and I started here with chapter 12, which is called Heading Up River. And you'll see here, right when I get in, there's a timer at the top right marking down my time. So I got to complete chapter 12 in under five minutes. This actually wasn't too much of an issue for me. I was able to complete this pretty quickly right here for another trophy. Nice. Up a short creek without a paddle. The next speed run was on chapter 5 here, and I completed this really easily just like the first one, so here's the trophy for that. And then I reached chapter 16 here. Now this one caused me a bunch of issues, so what I have to do is complete this whole chapter in under 7 minutes, so let's see what happens. If I die here, I'm screwed actually. See, like, I'm screwed because the time is going up, man. I'm just gonna run past him. I 
can't. I can't run past them. I can't run past them. I can't run past them. What? She died? Oh my god, she died. No. I didn't know that- I didn't know she could die, bro. That's so frustrating, man. So as you saw there, I was getting pretty pissed off, and I realize now that I was probably on a harder difficulty than Explorer Mode, which is the easiest one in the game. I think I was either on Normal or Hard for some reason, that's why it was getting pretty difficult on this one. But it's all good, we love the extra challenge, so let's see if I can complete this one in under 7 minutes right here. I have less than a minute. Oh, come on, dude. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it. I forgot where the end of the level is. No, I'm not gonna make it. Did I make it? 10 seconds. Go! Why is he, my guy walking? Let's go, I just made it. How much, I had like five seconds left, I think. How many seconds did I have? B chapter 16, the treasure vault in less than seven minutes. The only trophies I had left were miscellaneous ones, and these usually are just weapon kills, or you have to take down an enemy in a certain way. So here's the last couple miscellaneous trophies I needed leading up to the platinum. Oh, there we go, Master Ninja. And this one is for 50 melee attacks from behind. Nice, and we got the 20 desert kills as well. So here's the final trophy that I need for the platinum, and all I have to do here is go into the photo mode. I believe it's in game and under options. We'll enable this right here. And right when I go into this photo mode, I should get a trophy for going into it, and we'll get the platinum. So let's see here. Down on the D-pad, shoot some B-roll for Elena, and here comes the platinum. Wait for it. And there it is. Platinum trophy earned and earn all Uncharted Drake's Fortune remastered trophy. So that's the first Uncharted done and we have four more games to go. With the first game completed, now it's time to pull out our Uncharted roadmap and make my way to the second game of the series, which is called Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. It's actually a little longer compared to the first game, which is nice, but now we are on Uncharted 2, which follows almost the exact same trophy plan, except I switched it up a bit. First crushing and treasures, then combat trophies, and finally the speedruns once again. Moving on to Uncharted 2, the game starts when Nate is on a derailed train and he is in a ton of trouble here, but he barely makes it out alive and we are taken back in time to see exactly how he got there. He speaks with two new characters, Harry Flynn and Chloe Fraser, who we actually play as Chloe in the fifth Uncharted game, The Lost Legacy. Long story short, the goal of Uncharted 2 is to find the Sintamani Stone in the lost city of Shambhala. Just like the first game, I progressed through the story, getting collectible trophies and combat ones along the way, and at this point, I ran into the train mission. This was actually my kryptonite. Once again, I'm on crushing difficulty and going for those combat trophies as well, but this was a nightmare for me. Wait! No! What is that? What is that? Oh my goodness, I can't do this right now, man. I'm so bad at it. Hundred headshots. Honestly, I'm pissed off right now. I keep dying at this one part on the train, so. Whatever, we got a trophy, I guess. So many deaths later, I made my way through the train and I took out the helicopter, which helped me complete the chapter shortly after that. Then I kept advancing through the story here and I've shown more of my painful moments with certain trophies up to this point, but I also had a lot of great moments getting these combat trophies as well. So here's some of the trophies I unlocked while finishing the story. Oh, Dynamite Master, which one's this? Kill five enemies with one explosion. Oh, 50 kills with the M4. Another trophy down. Okay, 50 sniper kills at least. At least I got a trophy. Oh, nice. 20 kills. Let's see. Nice, we got 20 kills with this weapon already. Okay. Oh! Oh! That was close. After those combat trophies, I snagged two more collectible ones. The first for grabbing 80 treasures, and this one is for grabbing 100. And I actually missed one during my playthrough, so we'll go back later in chapter select and grab that one as well. Now I've made it to the lost city of Shambhala, where I have to defeat Lazarevich, who drinks the blue sap from the Tree of Life here, which makes him extremely powerful. I must defeat him so I can get all the difficulty related trophies, just like the first Uncharted game. So let's see how hard this was for me. So this is gonna be a boss fight here. Okay, yeah, here it is. We've been waiting for this the whole game. 
Oh, he's gonna be tanking bullets, I can already tell. Okay, this is gonna be tough on this difficulty, I feel like. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Nice. So when it goes into this mini cutscene, it basically means I have damaged him enough in order to get him to the next phase. I have to hit him about 12 times with the sap on the trees, which you saw me detonate earlier. So I was off to a pretty solid start here. I think I just keep baiting him towards them and then I can kill him. Hold up. Come at me, bro. See you later. Come over here. Oh, I'm gonna fall off the map. Nope. We're good. What is that? Nice. I weakened him once again here, and I will say I felt like I was getting pretty lucky here on my first attempt, but I wasn't going to complain, so let's see if I can keep it up. Oh, he's pissed. Okay, sorry about that, boss. Get over here. Gonna take that. Uh, no, he shot the... He shot the blue thing and then I got blown up. After that death, I was learning the fight pretty quickly and I made it to the same phase once again, so let's see what happens. I'm doing actually a decent job here of uh, damaging him. Oh, there we go, another one. Nice! Wait, what? Wait, what? He's so quick now! He's just pushing me! No, dude! I think I'm bad. No, I'm one shot! No, man! No, 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 no. He's gonna get me again, man. He's so quick. Please jump up. Yes! Is that it? That was the end of the fight, and he's finished off by the Guardians right here. Then, not long after, Nate is reunited with Elena, and I'm awarded my four difficulty-related trophies when the credits roll, which is crushing, hard, normal, and easy. The next trophy I went for was the one collectible I had missed while playing through the game, which got me the Master Thief collection for collecting all of the 101 treasures right here. Now I only had combat and speedrun trophies remaining, I switched it up this time going for combat trophies first and saving the speedruns for last, so I quickly loaded into chapter 6 to farm the combat kills and this was a perfect spot for me because I easily got the last set of trophies I needed. Peace. There we go, we already got 50 kills with it, nice. And there it is, 50 kills with the shotgun here. Nice. And there we go, that's 30 kills with the RPG right there. Oh nice, got that one quickly. All right. Yep, easy enough. And that's my final weapon that I needed. I only had three speedrun trophies left for the platinum and the first two speedruns were easy for me. The first one I finished was a quick jaunt through a war zone for beating chapter five in less than seven minutes and 30 seconds. The next one was for beating chapter three in less than six minutes and 30 seconds. And I saved the worst for last. Welcome back to the train mission. Now I have to beat this in less than seven minutes and I was still having issues on this just like the first time and I wasn't even on crushing this time. I was literally on the easiest difficulty and I was just being a complete meathead to be honest. So let's see if I can complete this in less than seven minutes and get the platinum trophy. No! <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's chalked. I don't think I made it because of that. Uh, I think I'm dead. Yeah. I'm gonna have to restart this one. That definitely was not the start I wanted, so I had to restart the chapter and try again. So let's see if my second attempt went a little bit better right here. Take this guy out. Jump and don't fall off. Okay, we're restarting. No, we're retrying the chapter. We're not dying like that. There's no way. All right, well, for some reason, I don't know how to complete this mission. I have a mental block against it, I guess, and I just don't know what I'm doing. So hopefully third time's the charm here so we can get the platinum trophy and complete this in under seven minutes. No! Oh, I dodged it! Nice, made it. Okay, five minutes. Got two more minutes left, not even. Okay, now we're in the tunnel. Okay, home stretch here. Pull this gun. Oh, we did it. And that should be the platinum trophy after that. I didn't know that was that easy, okay. And there we go. We got our platinum on Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. And now, all we have to do is complete a couple more games. A little bit more than a couple. Three more to be exact, but 
With game number two finished, it's time to move on to Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. And if you guys have enjoyed the journey so far, consider subscribing for more content just like this. But we made it to Uncharted 3, where the trophy list is literally identical to the last two, so there's no need to explain. Let's just get into it. Uncharted 3 kicks off when Nate and Sully are trying to make a deal with a man named Talbot that wants to buy Nate's ring that was his ancestors, but things quickly start to escalate when Nate and Sully find out the money that he is offering them was fake, and a brawl starts to break out while Talbot ends up ultimately getting away. When the fight starts, I quickly get my first two trophies, which is Bare Knuckle Brawler for defeating 20 enemies in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and when I finish the fight, I also grab my first treasure of the game right here. At this point, you guys know how these trophies work, so once again, I went through the story getting those collectibles and a ton of combat trophies along the way, which you'll see on the screen here, and then it led me to my final treasure trophy, which was the Master Thief collection for grabbing yet another 101 treasures. After grabbing that last treasure, I tracked down Talbot at the end of the game, and this is once again another final boss fight, but this one actually switches it up this time. It's a straight up hand-to-hand -hand combat throughout the whole fight, and we have to take him out for four trophies, but I will say this is definitely the hardest boss fight I've had up until this point so let's see if I can take him out finally it's gonna feel good to take this guy out I hope wait what I don't even know how I dodged that like that but I'll take it oh he hasn't hit us yet oh no 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 oh he just got sliced up I was dodging Oh, he got me, okay. So he was quick on this difficulty, and every time he swung, I had to press either triangle or circle to dodge his moves. And he kept doing this one where he would grab me here, and then he swings his knife low and he kept hitting me, so I didn't know how to dodge that quite yet, so I kept getting really frustrated. What? I don't understand what move to do there. Do I press circle or do I press triangle? Oh, I just got two tapped. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to dodge this one. I don't know how to dodge that one. I don't know how to dodge that one. Even though I died there, I was making progress and each phase he gets new movesets and I figured out eventually how to recognize those patterns and I just had to defeat him in a certain sequence here in order to get to the end of the fight and take him out. Yes. Come on. No. Oh, he just kicked my ass. Oh, I think I'm dead. Bitch. Is this it? Okay, I think I did it. I've never had this happen. Uh oh. I'm, I'm smashing buttons. I don't know if I'm fighting him still. Yep, smash it. Smash it! Oh! Oh, thank you. Shoot him. Oh. Dude. Oh, nice catch. Got him. Nice. Thankfully, that's the end of the fight right there, and I finally am able to get all my trophies not too long after. Oh, let's go. There it is, normal. I can't wait to keep going on to the next one. There's the hard trophy, and there it is, charted crushing. Nice. Next up, I had the three chapter speedruns, and I got the My Horses Faster for beating chapter 20 in under 15 minutes. Right after, I got Catch My Plane for finishing chapter 16 in less than 12 minutes. Then I was on the last speedrun on chapter 7, which I had to complete in under 9 minutes and 30 seconds. I actually have already failed this one before, and this was my second attempt, so I was on the final home stretch, and I was cutting it really close here. I just gotta make sure I don't fall off during this part, and I think I'll be okay. I gotta focus up. Oh. Okay, we're nearing the end. Jump. Okay, I think I did it. Just. Okay, skip the movie. Oh, let's go. Outrun the flames. We just did that one. Be chapter 7, stay in the light in less than 9 minutes and 30 seconds. At this point, you guys know this by now, but I'm going to get those combat trophies, which is my last set I need in order to get the platinum. And I'm going to try and showcase here the ones that I haven't shown so far. So let's keep going until we get that plat. And there it is, Landshark, trophy earned. And that is defeat 20 enemies while swimming. For this next trophy, I had to keep alternating between different moves. So I had to shoot, punch, shoot, punch, until I got the trophy right here. Take this guy with my gun. Excuse me, Sully. There we go. And there's there it is. <laughs> Can't even speak. Combat Leapfrog. Kill 10 enemies in a row, alternating hand-to-hand -hand combat and gunfire. This next one is called Brute Beater, and I have to defeat this big brute without even getting hit once for the trophy. Make sure I dodge all of his kicks and his punches, and I should be good here, I think. Come on. Oh, 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 there we go. Dodge that one. Oh, another one. 
Dodge. See ya, buddy. Ran right the nuts. Come on. Give it to me. Where's the trophy at? Boom. And there it is. Brute Beater. It's that simple. After that Brute Beater, I was on my final combat trophy, and I saved the best for last. So let me just explain it to you guys in-game, and we'll see what happens. Alright, so for this trophy right here, I'm actually really close to the Platinum. And I need to slap some dudes with some fish here. So I gotta go over to this table. I don't know exactly how to do it. Oh, boom! We just slapped the shit out of that guy. Okay, hold on. We need another guy here. Hold up. Maybe if I go over here. There we go. He's gonna need a sturgeon. Unlucky. Well, we slapped some people up with some fish, so there you go. Alright, so one trophy left. All we have to do is snap a photo, just like the first game. So very simple here. And then we'll get our platinum trophies. Let's do it. Photo bomb, And this is going to be our third Uncharted completed. Let's see that platinum. And there it is, guys. So we got our third platinum trophy here. And we have two more games to go. I'm excited to keep going. With game three in the books, I'm very excited to share this journey on Uncharted 4 with you guys. This is personally my favorite out of any of the games, and it also has the longest trophy list. My trophy plan is to start on crushing and grab all collectibles, then get all multiplayer trophies, and finally, I have to speedrun the entire game in under six hours. I'm ready to go. Let's get it. In the fourth Uncharted, we are introduced to Nate's brother Sam and another treasure hunter, Rafe Adler, who all have the same goal in mind to search for Henry Avery's lost treasure. Sorry for the pause, but before I even enter the story, we have to go back to the menu where I entered multiplayer first to see if these five multiplayer trophies were even possible to get in 2023. So I quickly jumped into the multiplayer intro where I got my first trophy for completing the introduction. And I will say these multiplayer trophies are easy to acquire. The only hard part was gonna be to find a match. Luckily for me, I had no issues getting into these games and I'm not gonna spend too much time on these trophies because they were very easy to get, like I said earlier. So let me go through them real quick. The first one is Trials by Fire for completing all the trials. These are basically just like tutorials. Then I got Friends Forever for spawning in 10 sidekicks right here. After that, I got Get in the Game for completing five matches. And then here is my final multiplayer trophy that I needed. It should be maybe a trophy. Let's go, Medic. That was the last multiplayer trophy I needed. And that was for, what is that, 10 revives? Yeah, let's go. Now that we know the Platinum is obtainable, let's carry on with the story here. Like I was saying, Nate is joined by Sam and Rafe who are looking for Henry Avery's lost treasure, but later on, Rafe ends up turning on the brothers and wants to claim the treasure all for himself. Once again, I went through the story getting my treasures along with miscellaneous and combat trophies until I reached the new collectibles introduced into the game, which got me two more trophies. At this point, I was at the cemetery and I knew there was a trophy for getting past all the enemies without killing or being seen. Now, I was on crushing difficulty and these miscellaneous ones are recommended to go back and chapter select later on, but I wanted to try and get as many as possible on my first playthrough, so let's see how good my stealth is in this game. Okay, so far so good. There's like four guys over here, that's kind of a problem. Okay, he turns and I jump. Go. Jump! Okay, there we go. Go this way. Oh! Look at that. Now I jump down. I'm out. Come on. I think I did it. <laughs> I don't know how they don't see me. Yes, there it is. Ghost in the cemetery. Dude, that was kind of cool. Get through Scotland's cemetery combat encounter without killing or being seen. After the cemetery, I kept breezing through the story, grabbing a bunch of trophies until I reached chapter 17 here, where I went for another miscellaneous trophy called Just Floor It. The goal of this was to stealth my way to the Jeep and escape without killing anyone. This is so risky, bro. Go. Okay, we can't kill anyone. What the? All right, I don't know where to go, to be honest. Elena. What is going on? No, I almost had it. This difficulty is actually insanely hard to do that on. Remember earlier when I said these miscellaneous ones are recommended to be done later on? Well, that's actually supposed to be done on the easiest difficulty, so I wasn't even sure if these were possible to get on crushing, but I was going to give it another shot anyway, so let's see what happens on the next attempt here. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. I'm probably going to die again. This is so risky, bro. Yeah, it's over. Wait, I might make it. Wait, this actually might be possible. Go! I did it, I think. Oh, did I do it? Let's go, just floor it. I did it on crushing difficulty as well. After barely making it out alive there, I made it to chapter 20 at this time. Now, up until this point, I was actually pretty good at the game. But do you guys remember the train mission in Uncharted 2 where I kept getting destroyed? 
Oh my goodness, I can't do this right now, man. I'm so bad at it. Well, it was like that mission, except 10 times worse. I kept dying over and over and over again until I completely lost my mind. Wait! Elena! I hate this chick. Like, dude, they're flanking me, Elena. Just shoot them from the flank, bro, and then I can just take out everyone in front. Man, I don't get it how she can't get one guy. Well, poor Elena was getting blamed for my mistakes. I was just trying to make it through this mission and get to the end of the game. So let's see if I could complete it right here. I don't understand this. I, I really don't get it. I, I honestly don't understand how you're supposed to kill those guys. Wait. No! No! On the bright side, I got a trophy here at least because I kept dying so many times that I kept farming kills. So check this out. Okay, which one's this? Defeat a thousand enemies. Yeah, because I've been dying over and over at the spot for the last like 20 minutes. I've been getting owned. I'm so pissed off right now, dude. Thankfully, not long after, I made it past that encounter and finished off the armored vehicle chasing me at the end here, which brought me to safety. Now, I mentioned earlier that they added new collectibles in the game, so I finished off those leading up to the final boss fight. First, I got Lost Art of Journaling for collecting 25 journal entries. Next, Lost History for getting all 23 journal notes. After, Relic Finder for grabbing all three strange relics. And Treasure Master for all 109 treasures, but that's not the end of the collectibles yet. I'll talk more about that later. We finally made it to the final boss fight of the game against Rafe. This fight, hands down, was the hardest fight for me out of any of the Uncharted games because I was also going for a miscellaneous trophy called Swordmaster. This means I would have to complete this entire fight without getting hit even once. This trophy was highly recommended to be completed in chapter select on the easiest difficulty, even with the slow motion cheat enabled. So it's safe to say on crushing difficulty, this is going to be the ultimate challenge. Shut up. Oh no. Oh, here we go. I need this trophy though. Oh. Nice. I managed to get through his first phase with no hits, but he only gets faster from here. So I pick up my own sword and now it's a straight up duel. No! As you saw, he hit me and I got insta-killed. Now, I will say the one upside to this Swordmaster trophy is every time I get hit, I can click restart from the checkpoint and I don't have to restart the entire fight with him. So each phase I get to is a new checkpoint right here. Come on. Oh, I didn't know that was an attack. I eventually started memorizing his attack patterns, and right here, I actually did enough damage to get him to the next phase, where he gets more aggressive, and I got hit multiple times, but I was learning really fast. <gasps> Come on! That phase was definitely the hardest, and now I was on to the final phase of the fight, where I did get hit a couple times, but overall it wasn't too bad, so let's see if I can finally finish him off and get these trophies. I've never been this far, now what? Oh, peace! Yes! I did it, Swordmaster. Perfectly parry Rafe in the sword fight without getting slashed or stabbed on crushing difficulty. After defeating Rafe there, I made it to the epilogue where I finished off my last collectible called Gift of Gab for completing all 36 optional conversations. That's a total of 193 collectibles finished. Then I got my difficulty trophies after completing the game and only the crushing trophy popped, but they all ended up counting anyway. So now it's time to clean up all the combat trophies. Here's the last set of combat and miscellaneous trophies I'm gonna show up until the full game speed run. The first one here is when I got this trophy for hanging off a rope and getting headshots. Nice. And there it is, Hangman's Bullet. So I've defeated 20 enemies while on the rope here. This next trophy required me to take out four enemies with one explosive, and there was a perfect opportunity here when these guys hopped out of the vehicle. We get four of them in one spot right there. And there it is, Boom County. This next one's called Wingman, and I have to perform 10 buddy takedowns, just as you see right here. And I have to do that 10 times until I get the trophy. Uh, one more, and then we get the trophy right here. And there it is, Wingman. Easy enough. Let's go. This one is straightforward. I just have to defeat five armored enemies here by meleeing only. From the top rope, hit him in the head, finish him off, and there it is. Hitting a brick wall, 
The final miscellaneous trophy I needed was called Peaceful Resolution. For this, I had to beat chapter 13 and 14 without getting a single kill. It sounds harder than it is. Honestly, I ran past all the gunfire here because I was on the easiest difficulty and finished this first try without any problems, which got me the trophy right here. The last two trophies I needed was Charted Speedrun, which is to complete the entire game in under six hours and Unstoppable for defeating 100 enemies in a row without dying, which I'll go for on the speedrun right here. Now you'll see I added a speedrun timer on screen. And for those of you unfamiliar with what these times mean, I'll quickly go over it. So each number on the left represent the chapter that I'm on, followed by the chapter names beside it. Then on the far right is the time I completed the chapter, and the big green timer on the bottom is my current time on the speedrun. Now I was on chapter 7 here, and about an hour into the run, I was getting close to the unstoppable trophy for getting a 100 kill streak. The reason this trophy was possible is because I'm able to do the speedrun on the easiest difficulty with aim lock, but I will say I was still stressed going through these chapters because I was trying to go as fast as possible. Oh, unstoppable. There it is. And that one is for defeat 100 enemies in a row without dying. Okay, I can't really focus or look at that right now because I'm trying to do a speed run. So one trophy left and it's the speed run one. Hop in, hop in, hop in. Skip this. Nice. Well done right there. I was on a good pace with this run and made it to chapter 14, and this is where things got a little dicey here. Now, I was three hours in, and I really had no issues up until this point, but Sam decided it was time to sabotage me. Hurry up, hurry up, they see me. Any day now. Lift me up, lift me up. Oh, hurry up, buddy. Are you gonna lift me up? He's useless. He's absolutely useless. Uh-oh, big boy. That was a waste of time. That was a big chunk of time wasted right there because Sam decided to jump down for some reason, but we'll let it slide. We'll keep on moving. This was the very next chapter, and I'm gonna blame it on Sam here because every time I'm with the guy, he's just bad luck for me, and I kept running into problems. I just gotta be really careful not to miss any platforms. And of course, when I say that, I'm gonna die. Yep. Oh no. It's not good. I've ne My guy just jumped. So stupid. There we go. Didn't mess that one up this time. And then we jump here. Thankfully, this time, Sam decides to pull me up and I complete the chapter shortly after. After chapter 15 there, I didn't really have any more issues and I was on to chapter 20 here, getting really close to the end of the game. But first I had to escape this armored vehicle. Four and a half hours. I'm getting a little nervous on the time. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'll be okay though by chapter 22. I think I'm on a good, uh, really good pace. Okay. Jump up here. Over here. Whoop. And I'm out. Kind of. Not really. We good? Got him. So I finished off the armored vehicle and made it out of that chapter quickly after that. Then I made it back to the final chapter and I was fighting Rafe again. And I had a whole hour to spare in the speedrun and I was actually surprised I was doing this well. But the only thing left standing in my way was Rafe and his attacks on this difficulty were insanely slow. So it threw me off. I just want my trophy and platinum, please. Let me just dodge your attacks, bro. Look how slow his attacks are. All right, man. I need to put this guy's lights out real quick. This guy's pissing me off. Oh, here we go. Next phase, I think. I made it to the last phase here really fast, and it literally tells you when to press the buttons to dodge his attacks. So I defeated him once and for all right here, and made sure to skip the cinematic to save time. Then finally made it to the end of the epilogue, and when the credits start to roll, I will mark down my official time and get the platinum trophy. Now, I don't know if I get it in the credits. I'll stop the timer. Uh, we'll actually fill that in there. And my official time, four hours, 58 minutes and 54 seconds. Let's see if we get it here. Quit to the main menu. I'm scared. Please pop. This will give us the speedrun trophy and the platinum. Here we go. Charted speedrun completed. Let's go, man. Oh, that was so much fun, dude. And there it is. One last time. Uncharted 4's platinum trophy. Oh, what a journey. So just quickly before I move on here, I wanted to show you guys the official stats of the speedrun. And it says the total time spent playing was 4 hours, 57 minutes, and 30 seconds. That one's the complete accurate one. Because the other one, I was just manually doing it throughout the game. The speed run that you see on the screen throughout the whole playthrough. But yeah, so that's the official stats. And I completed it in less than 5 hours, which is pretty hype. I now have 4 Platinums, but it's not over yet. Because I still have Uncharted The Lost Legacy. 
which is our final game in the series. And if you guys made it this far, comment your favorite Uncharted game. Now here's my final trophy plan. First crushing and collectibles, then miscellaneous trophies, and finally the way of the warrior trophy, which I'll explain a little bit later. In the final Uncharted game in the series, we play as Chloe Fraser, who is a treasure hunter and thief for hire. We focus on her journey with Nadine Ross, who are both searching for the legendary tusk, but a man named Asav gets in their way because he also wants to claim this treasure. For the final time, I went through the game on crushing, getting all collectibles and as many miscellaneous trophies I could along the way. This story was very short, only having nine chapters in total. The other Uncharted had around 20 to or more so I got to the final chapter on the train here fast and grabbed my last collectible right here which is 145 collectibles in total at this time I was on the final boss fight of the series against Asav this was probably the easiest fight out of any of the Uncharted games but every time I do still have to learn the combat which is always tricky so let's see if I can defeat him here for two more trophies two on one in this boss fight it's never been like this in any of the Uncharted games yet if I can take this guy out first try that'd be insane oh dodge Good teamwork. Oh! That was the end of his first phase, and every time he goes into a scene where he talks, that's the start of a new phase. The first one went really well, so let's see if I can keep this momentum going. Shut up. God, this guy's annoying. I'm pressing circle, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why it's not dodging. I got him. We're actually messing him up. Nice! Just toss him off the train. Yeah! I got him to a new phase here, but this is where it starts to get a little bit more difficult for me. So let's see if I can keep it going. Oh, now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Now it's gonna be a little bit more tough. And he just knocked me out cold. I gotta focus up. Oh, he comes at me right away. Holy shit, dude. Come on. Okay. Oh, never mind. I'm the best. Oh, now I'm the best. What's up, buddy? After he grabs me here, this is basically the end of the fight and the start of the last phase. He tosses us off the train, but I quickly am able to get back on and end up in the final fight area where I need to finish him off for a couple trophies. This has to be the last phase of the fight here because we're about to hit the bridge. Oh, he is getting owned right now. <laughs> the duo. This pretty much sums up the fight right here, and we keep going until he's on the ground. It's basically just button smashing until the fight is over and he can no longer move. Then I make it off the train, and after the credits roll, I'm awarded my two trophies. Progress demands sacrifice. Complete the game in crushing mode. So yeah, so that's the difficulty related one. And we got legacy found. Complete the game. After completing the game, I had a ton of miscellaneous trophies I needed to get, so I loaded into chapter 8 where I started getting these done. The first one I got was not intentional, but I was taking people out with the pistol and got a trophy. He's got a helmet on though. It's kind of risky, but I'm going to do it. There we go. Oh, which one's this one? Defeat five consecutive enemies with the silenced pistol without being detected. Since I already had five headshots in a row with the silenced pistol, I needed five more for another trophy. Got six headshots in a row. That's seven. Okay, there we go. That's eight. That's nine. Okay, last headshot I need. And there we go. Ten up, ten down. That's ten headshots in a row. I kept running around this area, restarting the checkpoints over again so the enemies would respawn and got this trophy for 20 hit fires. Then 20 blind fires from cover. Next, I chilled on this ledge and farmed this armored enemy multiple times until I got a trophy for taking out 10 armored enemies without being detected. That wasn't the end of the chapter yet because I farmed another enemy until I got 20 C4 kills, then snuck around taking down 15 enemies with stealth, and the final trophy I went for in this chapter was taking down the helicopter without killing a single enemy. Yeah, I don't see how this would be possible. Imagine doing this on crushing, I don't think it's possible. Heli should be done now. I just got a rope on it. Okay. Alright, we're good though. I think I got it. This should be it. What's up, buddy? When I entered the helicopter and took this guy out, that was the end of the encounter, and the heli crashes shortly after, which gets me right under your nose, and now we can finally move on to another chapter. I was now on to chapter 6, and needed to destroy this APC with C4s only. Three, just need one more. Okay, let's detonate them all at once. And there we go, overkill, trophy earned. Right when I destroyed that APC, another vehicle spawns in right after, and this was a great opportunity to defeat four enemies with one C4. Let's toss that right there. And boom. And there we go, C4-ia. 
These next two trophies were time related, so I'm literally going to read the description of this. It says, defeat enemies with the vehicle, long gun, melee, and grenade in that order in 20 seconds. So I'll throw a timer up on screen here. Second, thank you. Let me just run this guy over. There we go. Hop out. Gun. We need to melee a guy. Go. Climb. Hurry up. And then we need a grenade kill. This has to be it. There's no other way. Need this guy. Please tell me that's it. And it's that easy. Make an entrance. This is another time related one. I have to defeat four enemies with the vehicle in 20 seconds. People within 20 seconds with the vehicle. So there's two right there that you saw that I ran over. And I don't really know the spawn points that well. So I'm just going to basically be riding around this whole area trying to find them. Okay, this guy right there. I actually need to take this guy out quick because the timer is going. I need to do this within 20 seconds. And of course I miss. I'll get this guy though. There we go. Oh, I did it. Okay. These are some of the last set of miscellaneous trophies I needed, and they were very simple, so I'll just show some of them on the screen here until we reach the final trophy of the entire series. The last trophy I needed was called the Way of the Warrior, and for this I had to make it from the beginning of the game all the way to chapter 5 without using a firearm or explosive. This wasn't a hard one to get, but it's definitely time consuming. Here's a quick look at what these encounters look like, and for the most part I had to just use my fist the entire time. Obviously the biggest thing here is just not shooting my gun out of habit. So my fingers are literally off the triggers right now. I don't even want to think about shooting. I just have to make sure I melee all these guys and we're fine. Just make sure I clean up all the enemies in this area. Okay. There we go. Now there's one more guy up top. Peace out. And that's it. There we go. Now we can open this gate. Maybe later. So I just kept repeating that process until I made it to the beginning of chapter 5 right here where I will get my platinum and complete the last two trophies for a total of 248 trophies across all of the Uncharted games. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we get it. I don't know when it pops, but it should be soon here. There it is. The Way of the Warrior and the final platinum. Don't ruin the moment oh my goodness we've done it five platinum trophies so that's my uncharted journey completed here as you can see we got our five platinum trophies but please subscribe if you guys enjoyed and if you want to see another video similar to this one where i platinumed another series this one's called infamous click on the screen here to view that one and thank you all for watching and i will see you all in the next one